All new tonight, we have brand new information tied to a log of alleged text messages sent and received by former Senator Kelly Leffler. Now the alleged texts offer fresh insight into the pressure Leffler faced to join challenges to the transition of power following the 2020 presidential election and the subsequent insurrection at the U.S. Capitol. Someone anonymously sent a 59 page log containing hundreds of purported text messages to 11 Alive and other news outlets. Our digital investigative reporter Nick Wood has been digging into the document to verify its authenticity. So, Nick, can you walk us through those texts? Yeah, thank you, Ron. So, 11 Alive has confirmed the authenticity of only a limited number of those alleged texts. Uh, four individuals on the log confirmed the authenticity of the text they had with Leffler to 11 Alive, but there are dozens of communications on the log that we have not been able to confirm. It appears they were received and sent to Leffler between November 2020 and February 2021. Some of the texts on the log appear to show communications with her staff members, while others are local and national congressional members, as well as allies of President Donald Trump. Um, according to the log, people were urging Leffler to challenge Joe Biden's election win leading up to the U.S. Capitol riot on January 6, 2021. Under federal law, they needed Leffler to sign an official objection. When the vote was cast, she was the only sitting Georgia senator. Um, one message that appears to be from Texas Senator Ted Cruz to Leffler five days before the Capitol riot includes a proposed statement on objecting to the election results, reading in part, accordingly, we intend to vote on January 6th to reject the electors as not regularly made and lawfully certified unless and until an emergency 10 day audit was complete. As we know now, Leffler did not end up challenging the election in the aftermath of the riot. We reached out to Senator Ted Cruz, a spokesperson, to try to verify the authenticity of those texts, but he declined to answer our questions. However, a Cruz spokesperson did respond to Politico, um, which quoted him as saying, as Senator Cruz has stated before, had Congress followed the path he urged and appointed an election commission to conduct an emergency 10-day audit and consider on the merits the evidence of voter fraud, the American people today would today have much greater confidence and trust in the integrity of our elections and our democracy. Nick, that was absolutely fascinating. So folks, as we mentioned, this is a 59 page log. It was sent to us anonymously. So how else have you worked to verify this? Well, Ron, you know, we have tried to identify the sender, um, but we've been unsuccessful so far. It's not clear how the sender obtained those messages or why the messages were collected or whether all of them are authentic. We've reached out to people named in the logs as sending or receiving the text. As we mentioned previously, four of them verified. Okay, so what about Leffler response. You know, her spokesperson calls us an attack on Leffler and, and says it's no surprise. Uh, you can read their full statement in my story on 11alive.com. All right, Nick. Thanks a lot. Thank Good you, work.